Now that you learned how to create a fire and forget job, which is a job that is processed a single time, let us create a delayed job and a delayed job is like a fire and forget job, but we get to define when the job is processed. So let's go to Visual Studio and see this in action. In here, I'll just copy lines 15 to 22, which is the first API endpoint, and paste it down here. I'm going to change the name from welcome to discount because I want to send a discount to the users a couple of minutes after they have signed up. Now in here, instead of using the NQ method, you need to use the schedule method. So I'll just write in here schedule. And then after the method that you want to execute, you need to provide a second parameter, which is going to be the time when you want this job to be processed. So in here, after the method, I'll just write in here comma, and then time span dot, and then in here we get some suggestions like from seconds, milliseconds, minutes, days, etc. I'm going to use the from seconds method, so from seconds. So this means process this job 30 seconds after I have created it. And then here we get the job ID, and here I'll just change the text from welcome email to discount email will be sent in 30 seconds. Or you can just define a variable up here. So int time in seconds is equal to 30. Remove the 30 from here and replace it with the time in seconds. And the same way, remove the 30 in here, inside curly brackets, write time in seconds. So everything looks good. Let us save the changes and run the application. Here we have the Hangfire dashboard. Let us go to Postman and in here change the welcome to discount and click the send button. So we see that the job was created. Let us go back to the dashboard. Let's go in here to jobs. And we see that we have in schedule, we have a scheduled job. Let us wait a couple of seconds. Actually, we need to wait 30 seconds. And after that, this job will be moved to the succeeded if it's successfully processed. So we see that the job was successfully processed. When you go to succeeded, in here now you will see four jobs and this schedule we see that it's zero. So this is how you can create scheduled jobs by passing as a parameter the time when you want these jobs to be processed.